Uh, Stuart Law, tough night again tonight. Your thoughts on the game? Oh, look, I, I thought we got off to a you know, poor start with the bat, and then um, you know, Daryl Mitchell and Steve Eskenazi put together a partnership which you know, got us back into uh, building a total that you know, we thought we could defend. Um, you know, we probably you know, left a few few runs out there at, towards the end as well, which you know, would have been handy. Um, to have that run rate up around 12 14 would have been handy at the end for us. Um, you know, I don't think we started well with the ball um, against Will Jacks. We know that he's he's a big, big, you know, massive front foot hitter. Um, I think we've got our lengths wrong there, but you know, once again through the middle, the spinners you know, dragged us back into that game, game of cricket. Um, you know, it was just a couple of poor decisions towards the end, which, which cost us. But that's T20 cricket as well. You know, they give, give Surrey credit, they came out and particularly Overton, um, Ollie Pope, one of the best cricketers going around. Um, you know, those two you know, hit the ball very sweet, very clean, found the boundary and made it difficult for us. And you know, it's, a, it's a tough tough pill to swallow again after last night's last ball thriller. Um, you know, tonight to, to come here and you know, be nearly nearly over the line again was it, it's hard hard to swallow, but we've got to dust ourselves off and get ready for Sunday. Is the um, positive after a bad start with the ball, a bad start with the bat? Middlesex on a tough run, but they kept coming back in both innings today, and they do keep coming back from the moment. It is that getting over the line, though, isn't it? But yeah. the fact that they do come back at the moment is at least a good sign. Yeah, and look, you know, the boys are trying. They're trying their backsides off. Um, you know, at the moment, we're just at times we're just making a, a poor decision, and and that ends up ends up costing us. The other team, you know, grabs control again and you know, runs away with it. So. You know, we are. It's been the story of our season, getting into positions to win games of cricket, just not being able to uh, to finish it off. But you know, I'd rather be okay. Yeah, we haven't won too many games, um, but we're we're not getting absolutely flogged um, every game either. We're in the we're in the contest, so you know, we just need a bit of answer luck. Um, you know, some good, good decisions made at the right time, and to turn this around. 2020 cricket too is a funny game. You get on a roll, you can you can really upset a few people. So uh, you know, seven games left. You know, if we get on a roll uh, starting Sunday, um, you know, who knows what can happen? It's a difficult balance, isn't it? Because I remember after the starts of the season, the championship, I think it was three defeats from four, and saying to you at that point, it's weird because it doesn't feel like a three defeats in four moment. Mm. Um, and again, as you say, this season so far. Middlesex have been there in the games. It's not trouncing game after game. It's yeah. you know, Middlesex are in the game, but the games are getting away. Um, had, does that make it more difficult to turn around? Um, well, I think it's it's more difficult to, to create that confidence in the players. But um, you know they should be you know feeling pretty good about where they're at. Um, you know technically and um, game wise, they're they're going okay. Um, you know we just need to make better decisions in the real clutch clutch moments. Um, and that's what the best players do. They they make the, the right choice at the right time. They take a risk that they need, and you know, and they back themselves to do it. Generally, it comes off. Um, at times, I don't think we're probably not quite you know believing that it's the right decision. Um, once we you know give that get that belief in us, um, you know, and, and really commit to what we're trying to do, I, I think we, we we can turn it around. You know, I, I keep saying it. You know, we got we have got talent in this dressing room. We've got great young men in this dressing room. Um, you know, if there's anyone going to turn around, these guys, these guys can, and you know, we've, we've just got to start being being smart. Stephen Finn said last week, it's too much talent in that dressing room for for the results at the moment, um, and as you mentioned there as well, the youngsters, um, it's a, it's not particularly either one or other. But the youngsters are playing their part, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're doing it. They're doing as much as they can. Um, you know, and it's great to see. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. You know, it gives you the least of life watching the young kids go about their their work, talking to them before the game and after the game. They, you know, they just they just sit there lapping it all up. Um, you know, they've every every opportunity they've had so far this year. You know, it's been a learning curve for them. Um, it's going to stand them in good stead in in future years. So, you know, we are we're going through. I keep saying we're going through a, a rebuilding phase. Um, you know, these guys are learning on the on the run, which is pretty tough tough environment, but. In the long run, if they desperately want to be here, um, just will only make them better. Thanks for your time. Cheers, man.